close enough. I am using an Eagle Speedster as my uh, observation domain to watch yeah. this. Really? Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> Nice and sunny, uh, but we've oh, yeah. driven an hour uh, towards Leicestershire, I think. We're in the county of Leicestershire. Uh, today's a pretty big day. It's the Supercar Driver, which is a supercar club based in the UK. Uh, it's their season opener, uh, which is, as the name would suggest, an event which sort of kickstarts the supercar season here in the UK. Having said that, absolutely pouring down. <laughs> I had the car washed yesterday by Signature Group and now it's covered in dirt. But you know, I always say if you're in England and you drive a nice car and you don't get it out when it rains, you'll never get it out. <laughs> so here we are. Anyway, um, two cool things happening. Uh, there's, I've heard about 300 supercars attending the event today. But also, Rich is here because the Mr. JWW Dot com website is honestly <laughs> finally <laughs> launching now I, I feel I owe somewhat of an explanation as to why this has taken so long uh, but ultimately it's been because when I decided to launch the site last time I took a step back and thought you know what I actually feel it's too early uh, I wanted to put more effort into the channel into the brand and establishing like what it is and yeah. what it stands for <laughs> it's a little bit slippy. Oh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, basically, whenever we have cool events, me and Rich go out, and Rich, as I'm sure you've seen, takes some phenomenal photography. It's like you've got this like wizard finger. Uh, he presses oh, the shutter, and like yeah. magic comes out. Uh, so, link below to Rich's site. I'll put your like Instagram and stuff like that. Yeah, um, but, but ultimately, all of the uh, product shots of the uh, styles and clothing which are launching with the website has come off the back of, of Rich and I going on some mad adventures. Uh, and this is one of them. So, uh, yeah, today, double edged sword. We're going to be having a good time with cars, but also capturing content for the yeah. website. Uh, and together with the website, the blog is also making a return. I was umming and ahhing over that as well. Uh, and so I wanted to get the site sort of uh, pre-published with lots of juicy content so that when it does go live, which by the, the time this drops will be in about a, a week's time, um, yeah, basically you guys will have lots of juicy stuff to uh, check out. So yes, onward to Bruntingthorpe and let's saturate ourselves in some supercar action. Man, there's our first sign, supercar. We've got a 488 Spider in front of us. Ah, here they are. That's more like it. Look at this. Out of, out of nowhere, there was a supercar queue. <laughs> How cool is that? We haven't even got in yet, and the content is strong. Yeah, man. The cars is just crazy. Yeah, man. Wait, we've had an F50 turn. Yeah, up here. I just saw that turn up. I mean, it's rare to see an F50 like in the summer at a Ferrari event. <laughs> Never mind like in the wet. Yeah. Like props to this guy for bringing that car out because in the wet that thing is a bit of a handful. Although his oh, wonky number plate is recent my do, OCD. I, as soon as it drove, oh. I, I, the, the first thing I thought is, can I Photoshop that? That's what I was thinking. Wonky, <laughs> he's got a, he's, he's got he's that got car. Five. Oh. He's brought that car. Yeah. That is. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Maybe it slipped off on his journey. But yeah, maybe. To yeah. be fair. Maybe we should tell him. He might be aware. He might have everyone telling him, and he's like, yeah. I'm sure if you can see over my 
shoulder there. You see that massively conveniently placed aeroplane there? So the sort of star feature of the whole day is all of these cars later on are gonna get lined up in front of that plane. And Supercar Driver sort of kickstart the opening of the season by launching the photograph, which results as a result of all these cars being parked in front of that plane on that runway. And when it hits online, it's like, okay, the season can begin, you know? So today will be great. We're just hoping the rain holds off for that one photo. I don't mind if we're in a tent all day, but if we can just have it for that picture, because that's really what this whole event's all about. So it's gonna look wicked, it's gonna be cool. Rich has bought his skateboard so we can get some tracking shots. I might try and drag you away from that grid, how's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're now lining up uh, in front of this massive aeroplane. They're sending us around the back so we can have a more sort of uh, direct route. And um, Rich is super convenient. He brings a skateboard around everywhere we go so we can get some really nice smooth tracking shots. Although, <laughs> this surface isn't exactly smooth for any kind of tracking. I need to go here. <laughs> this place is such a playground. that you have a road legal FX deck driving around you or a massive Royal Air Force plane from which to shoot your car next to. So we're basically making the most of our time at Bruntingthorpe uh, to get some really good shots. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, uh, we're also trying to capture content for the website going live soon. Uh, and when do you get this sort of thing happening? Is that it's literally a road legal race car. This is why Rich gets the results. Check out the angle. Casual FXX. <laughs> Driving off there, you know that's gonna be a cool shot. It's such a playground right now. While, we've, while we're shooting the Speciali, the guys from Eagle have got their speeds to there. And there's also a low drag with chrome paint just up here. The paint on that is incredible. Look at it. Such a timeless shape. So, if shooting the Speciali next to an RAF jet wasn't enough, uh, I've just been given the keys to an Eagle Speedster, uh, which is basically a sort of interpretation of the Jaguar E-Type. Uh, it's been modernized, but in a sympathetic way that still retains the original character and quality of the E-Type, but it's been fettled and modernized so you can use it more regularly. I'm told if you did want to get your hands on one of these, you're looking at the end of the year 2021 and it's just like a fine wine or a fine whiskey or any artisan product. You've got to wait for it and the longer you wait, the sweeter the experience. <laughs> what a weapon! Oh my god! The coolest thing is, you know how good it looks when you're driving it. <laughs> so you know how good it sounds. to the overrun, pop some bangs. Oh, wow. So this is running their upgraded engine. This is a 4.7 litre and staying on brand with the Jaguar E-Type ethos. It's still a straight six engine. <laughs> oh, good God. If you ended up using this as the car to drive to the pub in, you'd end up in Wales. <laughs> I'm casually cruising past 
an uh, Enzo FXX road legal race car. Tally ho! <laughs> this is actually a client's car of Eagles, and it's been painted in a uh, in a very special chrome. We're going to go up alongside and do some tracking shots of this guy because it's just stunning. But let's do it. That was totally unexpected and absolutely fantastic. Uh, by convention, this event is typically static only, so I'm just trying to find the car keys. Uh, also, Signature cleaned my car yesterday, did an amazing job, and uh, we've gone and baked on half of the countryside. Look at this, exhaust tips have gone white. That's salt, that's salt from the road. Um, off goes the Eagle Speedster. Look at it, it's like a sexy UFO, isn't it? Gorgeous. So we're going to call it a day now. I'm going to hop back in the Speciali. Complete contrast from an Eagle Speedster to getting into this thing. But um, yeah, it's been a, a, a wonderful day. Massive thank you and congratulations to Supercar Driver to uh, put in on a fantastic event. I've heard they've raised lots of money for charity at the same time. So all in all, a very successful day. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Ciao.